Hi, this is Michael Simons here at the NAC Show in Chicago 2011. We're uh, featuring our version 9 passport system today. One of the features that we've added in that version of software is support for a remote manager. So, we're going to go over here to a web browser on my laptop and actually change the prices, download them to this version 9 passport system, and, uh, and see how the system processes them. So again, we'll click on regular to change the regular pricing. Add a new pricing event. Set ourselves up for a time in the future. Save and close that. And then go in, let's change the other plus pricing system. Save and close. And save and close. So we've changed the prices that could then be downloaded to any one of the stores that we happen to have. Now in this particular case, we've got just one system here at the show. So I'm going to go ahead and approve that download. And you'll notice here that I have several options for what I actually could download. In this case, I'm selecting to only download the fuel pricing. But there are other options that we could download, such as the menus, speed keys, items. We could download other things associated with fuel configuration, such as receipt header trailers. But fuel pricing is what we're most interested in right now. I'll hit the download button. Again, we set that up to download at a time in the future. But since I want it to happen right now, I'll go ahead and click this button to initiate that immediate download. Then over here on the passport system, once that file has been transferred, we'll actually see that it has a pop-up for the cashier to indicate that the fuel prices have been received and it's time for them now to go out and change the prices that are out at the street. Again, we don't want to make sure that the prices are active on the signage before we actually make those the actual pending or, or current prices on the fuel system. So after loading those, we will actually print out the receipt for the cashier. Now there are several other things that we are adding in, not just fuel prices. We'll be able to, again, add the speed keys, maybe add some of the display uh, message for the pole sign, those kinds of things. And what we say that once the prices have been received at the cashier workstation, here are our current prices and the prices that we changed them to. Once we've received these prices here at the, at the system, we're actually going to send a notification back to the remote manager system to let them know when those prices were accepted. That way we have confirmation that the store actually did them and accepted those fuel prices and made those changes in a timely manner. So once again, remote manager, coming to a V9 passport system near you in the near future.